have something all this way, all this way, they, do, they take the ridicule, they take the shit for the election, they take all the, the trials and the tribulation. And then when that microchip comes, when that uh, Friday microchip comes, you just need to say, well, you're going to be chip. Wait till then, what you was doing on the streets all the time, man? Fooling yourself up. Will you take all them years off, well, then better you to just go outside here and live life. <laughs> you can have a guy's one. If you do all of this, you make all the sacrifices, you do this, you do that, you do the other. And then when the chip comes, you just fall for the chip. But then what was doing all the time? Playing the fool up. The blood might have to shed at that point. The blood may very well have to be shed, or the Heavenly Father could deliver. Which we have faith in that. That is where we that is where we be, that is where we faith is. We faith is in that he deliver we that he take you out of our trouble. That is where we, we faith lies. But if it comes down to it, resist unto blood striving against sin because that chip is sin. That chip is sin. And it's a big sin. One of the biggest sins in shit in this present time of coming, you know. Resist unto blood striving against sin. Because you will have a crown I tell I tell I'll come in here man. and you have a shy point that come on your head when the kingdom of heaven is established. That is we hope and the glory and the joy. That is when we are to sacrifice and put off the works of darkness and the flesh for. See? That's right. We have to serve this. In the book of Psalms chapter 19, verse 7, the brothers say that you have to love when you have to finish to fight, to finish your course, and to fight against sin, to the very last. Yeah, Psalms 19, and from 7, because unless you understand the fundamentals and the basics, and there's a lesson in our work, there's a learning tonight, at the end of the day, all you have to do when things get difficult is go back to the basics. The only complications and all this other thing, you could not only break down. Everything that they have to do with the heavenly father and when that time comes, if you don't want to be a six. You know? Mm -hmm. So yeah, we go bring it out. We, we Psalm Matthew 19 verse 7. Psalms. Psalms. Psalms 19. Yeah, because at the end of the day, you have to love the Lord. And what is person who must come to do? It's come to wave by your love. Psalms 19 and 7 says the law of Yahweh is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of Yahweh by Hashem is sure, making wise the simple. Right, of course. So, firstly, the scripture says the law of the Heavenly Father is perfect. What, he, what, what spirits does come and try to make you do? Seeing how the world is evolving and seeing the different things going on. The elements and the spirits controlling these elements does come to you. And make you think that you have to change to suit the world, to get by, to fit in, you know, to survive. Spirits will try to come and make you feel that you have to change, turn away from the old parts. A long time thing, like by long time in Moses and them days, long time in Abraham and Isaac and Jacob them days. We live in a different time now. And I dare be spirits to feel to, to face you now, but I would just try to make you do. But here which scripture say, if the law is perfect, it has come to the soul. Right? And the testimony is sure making was the simple. And what is the testimony? That the Lord will not come back. Endure. Our ship has a good soul. Yeah? That is the testimony. But what does make you turn away from believing in that? The love way by because the love, the most I say for love me, keep my commandments. My commandments is not grievous until when it started to become grievous is when you start to find problems with it. Because however tribulation of you may be facing, you start to find problems with your belief system that was set before you. So now you're being tempted to do what? Alter. Alter your belief system to try and ease your whatever little physical pain you may be going through. You know? You want to show? This. Verse 8 says the statutes of Yahweh Bashan Yahushai are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of Yahweh Bashan Yahushai is pure, enlightening the eyes. Now, what it say? It say 
rejoicing your heart. Are you sure the scripture never say rejoice in the flesh? Because your heart goes back to your lab. Which is your, which is your spirit that's being inside of your mind. When you go into tribulation and you know that you stand up for the righteous thing, you know that it's actually making you feel comfort in your tribulation. In your tribulation. Yep. When, you could, when you could feel rest assured that you're fighting for the correct thing. And this way you're going through here is because you do the correct thing. That is, that is the more strength. Submit yourself to the ways of the heavenly father because it's perfect. Verse 9, it says, The fear of Yahweh, Ba'asham Yahushai, is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of Yahweh, Ba'asham Yahushai, are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and the honey comb. And this, this, brothers and sisters, is what we run in the race for. To latch on. Is something so sweet, it, it couldn't be compared to the honey and the honey and the honeycomb. No, 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 word it to stand up in the sweetness and tell gold and silver put together. David said, Couldn't be compared and it because you know what that is? That is our assurance that when the time comes, when the fruit and a matter of fact, we will be more piece of two Psalms 92, Psalms 92, and um. A fool understand that what the um can sound like two or push up. I wonder what Chinese could tell me. No, it sounds like two and six. It says a brutish man read not, neither let a fool understand this. It says when the wicked spring as the grass, and when all workers, all the workers of iniquity will flourish, it is that they shall be destroyed forever. So now if the workers of iniquity is to be being destroyed forever. What going on be exalted? Everything is balanced in the, in the, in the sight of the heavenly father. So when the righteous fall, then there's going to be the rise of righteousness. Right. So if you go see the sweetness in holding on to righteousness because unrighteousness fallen, it, it, it was okay if you were seeing the, the signs that this system, the world is going running, going on, and we continue going on. World economists and, and, and eco scientists, you know, and all these different people on them, they, they, they all coming out on different um, programs and things and saying that hey, nature going into a ruin, animals going into a ruin, you know, different things on the face of the earth and the earth crashing, the earth collapsing, ecosystems collapsing, you know. So if you as a individual sitting back hoping to be established in a world that collapses, hey, so be a portion of it. That's right. Because all this way to have here collapsing is proven as facts. It's factual that this world and the system, the ground that healing fruit again. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, how much, how much genetically modified plants do we create? Every, every GMO they make, when they put it in the ground to grow, have a natural predator so that they come up with more harsh chemicals to, 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 to battle against them. How much more the most I will show you? The scriptures say the heavens declare this and the works. Right? The heavenly father certainly play ground and everything plain to see. Just just open your eyes and see, but you know what? The scriptures say the most I said the world in their hearts. That is why the casting, that is why that is why the, the, the two-thirds cannot see what's going on because the world in your heart. And that is to your detriment. That is not to your uplifting. But you see, when you're going through it, you set aside the world and you take a little strain. You take a little position of discomfort. And then afterwards, you know, you're going to get the everlasting glory. So it is a reasonable trade. It's a, it's a reasonable trade. Mm -hmm. You know? Mosa is not unreasonable. That way most people just try to charge the Mosa with un being unreasonable. The Mosa you take away a loved one. You feel because you turn away from the Mosa in a person, that will not do the Mosa is something. You fall into diverse tribulations on earth, wherever you're going to, you feel because you lay back and you turn away from finding the answer that will not do the Mosa. That you, is you going and be destroyed. 
Hein, Doini est venu faire un appui. Il est venu faire un appui. Il est venu faire un appui. Il est venu faire un appui. So the best thing for one to do is to have one to say. For yourself and not in my team, I'm not being a good fan. I'm a piece of good fan. This is what I'm going to do. Second is just chapter 1 and verse 27. It says, Ye have not, as it were, forsaken me, but your own selves, saith Yahweh Bashan and Shai. You will do me, Lord, not me. You turn your back on the Lord, you feel you do me in something. You know what I'm saying? You ain't for safe means yourself, you're for safe. Anybody can touch you right now? He's untouchable, he's untouchable. He's untouchable. He's so going to try to be. He prophesied. The man prophesied, he's so going to fight him and have no chance of it. The battle was an untouchable battle. The battle was an untouchable. That is the power they have been for that. So you turn your back on him. That one do you be something? You don't say I raise up stones to save. You say I, uh, I raise up them stones on them to save. I can be to one, do you? Huh? Oh, you say if I can be breaking to stones to fill up his kingdom. Something like that. That's powerful. If you say you want to raise up stones to save, to save it. Um, when you have a child riding into Jerusalem with, with, with the ass, right? Um, notice how a is sit on one horse, like Herod and them. The Herodians would have come into the city with on a horse. Their head quite up in the edge in the sky, so the Aushai comes in on an ass. So humility. When the Aushai comes to Jerusalem and on the ass, and they were showing, showing palms at his at feet anyway. And saying, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest, blessed be he that cometh in the name of the Lord. The scribes and them say, rebuke, rebuke them. Because how do God, how do God be giving you that praise? He's a man. How shall I turn back and say, say I, I, truly I say unto you, if these don't do it, the stones themselves will just raise up and start it. You understand? That the power the Lord had. Because that prophecy that was to happen. That right thing had to happen. So you, you can turn your back on the Lord and feel the Lord going on. Be upset. Why? Why you leave? Why you too? Why you Why you leave? Why you? I needed you. I needed you. I needed you. I This is the book of Luke chapter 17 verse 10 and it says So likewise ye when ye shall have done all those things which are commanded you say we are unprofitable servants we have done that which was our duty to do right so go take a week now there is order in everything right in, in everything is that order order is very important it's one of the most important things so you have your apostles your elders your brothers over you in, in camps your elders over them your the camp leaders Whoever over you have to respect in the rank and file. So that is how it's set up. But don't, don't, don't feel at no point in time, at no point in time, hey, that hey, I bigger than this. At no point in time, you know what you're supposed to do. So you have to be on the right truth. You understand? Where I should become myself first. At no point in time, I, I bigger than. Yeah, I, I see man because I got, I got break down. 10, 20, the French group, that, and, 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 and I, and I do all the work for the Lord, and I, know how to call yourself a profitable silver, because why, that is your fucking duty, none special, 
is your duty the heavenly father you have duty that is your duty your son they want to look their glory for everything that women is do that that women home and they do their duty they cook the clean they see about the family right they will turn around and tell the husband watch all why do why you don't give me more glory you know and it's just a it's just a feminine thing because if that you do more glory you should get for doing something that you need to do but if you go if you endure something that really was over and beyond you and you take that fame and stand in you know if you enjoy anything for his sake when the time come your master will tell you all right well done well done you have got reward well yeah you know yeah he will tell you going on you know, unrighteous, he will tell you, well done, you'll be a reward. He's supposed to be high-minded and heady. And like, I is the shit. I is it. The Lord, like these fucking, like Nathan, them, like Nathan, them is, them is like prime examples, uh, like them ITR men and them you follow. And then all them drop out on them. But like them they start to tell us how high you everything and there. They are cussing all of them, all you going off, all of you. They are talking shit. The mark of the beast is this, that is this. Try to change your big doctrine. You understand? Because why? Them tell the self, them is the unknown. We is the ones. Look at the way I love to do. That's why I say, order is immaculate soul, yeah. Don't ever forget what I will ever in your life forget what I will. Ever forget what I will. But that's very important. Very, very, very important. You can't keep water and you have this water. This water does lead to fucking health and skeleton. And, and kingdom, yeah. of kingdom of heaven is confusion. Kingdom of heaven is not our confusion. Kingdom of heaven is about righteousness and peace. Kingdom of heaven is about order. Right. Well, that from the heavens come down. Mm -hmm. So you say what? You say I am not the water of confusion. Correct. But in peace as in all the churches. Correct. And you're going, 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 going to be the orders for everybody. Why it is going to be for our women right up there? Because at the end of that day, a man is supposed to rule over the man because he's dying up. This order is going up. And most of the things if you're watching Israel, from all I say, I saw, I used to think at the point in time, you know, when I, when I was naive, you know, um, why is we talking about women so much, but when I really think about it, women is a thing, from the beginning of time, study evilness, as a topic that I've always been most demanded, you know, because them is what a study wickedness, and men has been falling victim to them right too, so, thank God, you know, the most hard mercy on us to reach a point where we really we, 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 we focusing on the real enemy now. Mm -hmm. Which is Esau. Yeah. He's Satan himself dealing with us. Right. We're able to see these things. We're able to see that although we wrestling not against flesh and blood, our spirit have to deal with our flesh. Correct. Many Christians can't see that. The feel is just a spirit alone. Spirit need our flesh to, to do its bidding. That is that you pay for that mountain. All these things you have to find out if you don't pass. Normal poor men who grow up in galvanized houses. What are, 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 I'm going past a coffee church and, and I, I get past a coffee. I get past a coffee. A very notable combination today is support. See that? Right? It's like a blessing. But the Lord just show you, hey, I don't need her, I don't need her, yeah? Moses. What is Moses' story? Moses let us slay every belly on my. That's like what Moses was in. He led a big slave rebellion from Egypt. Right. And, and what was his story? He was, he, was, he was second in command. Second in command. That is like fucking Donald Trump youth by stepchild. 
Yeah, you got you, you was you was close to the Pharaoh. Yeah. That was Pharaoh, that was like Pharaoh broke and Pharaoh's like Pharaoh grandson. Because Pharaoh thought that take Moses as she child. Masha. She took Masha, which means drawn out. Because he was drawn out from the water. Because the saw the sign. They saw the sign of, 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 of the deliverance. For the, for, the, for the children of Israel to, 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 to leave Egypt. And, and the, the Lord, the Heavenly Father, was going and sent a savior for them. So what the Egyptians did, they, they, they come in and started to kill all babies. They are always trying to, to, to disrupt prophecies of the Lord. But the Heavenly Father was one up on them. He made the enemy live right in the house to hold the whole time. The whole time the enemy, the enemy was right, was right in the house. And he grew up, he grew up as, as Pharaoh's grandchild. And then when Pharaoh's son would have come into power, Moses would have been like right there, like, like second in command. And what would what Moses do? Moses saw the affliction of the people and, and, and do away with all of that riches, man. He said, well, I don't, I don't even need that. Them people more important to me. Them, that is what, that is what call love, so yeah. That is like we turning me back on this world. Alright? Yeah, hey, you have to have a very heavy spirit on you to do what Moses do. A very heavy spirit you have to have on you. But you have a shy there, you have to have a heavy spirit on you. The majority of these men was, was, was rich men. And the turn, Abraham was a rich man. When he was living with terror, he, he, but he, he ended up turning his life to be as a stranger and a pilgrim on the earth, waiting for the promise of the kingdom of heaven. Right? Right. All of them that had a life in the world and they turned their back on their life and they were born in a, in a, in a congregation of all of them. More than that, suffered. More than that, we We need to chapter 7 and verse 1 it says a good name is better than precious ointment on the day of one the day of one's death than the day of one's birth but it says what a good name you know what them get because of what them did the guy turned all fucking year 4,000 years long the line up he's still talking about Moses and he didn't know he do. Still talk about the house shy two thousand years later. They gave a good name because they made a righteous sacrifice for the Lord. And what these men and them was? These men and them was poor men. They was poor, they didn't have nothing. But the things that they did echo through time. That's it. It echoed. It, it just keep going, 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 going. The righteousness just keep going. It just keep going. It just keep adding on. Alright? That is what we supposed to do. Our righteousness, the scripture say, and many that turn, and they that turn many to righteousness shall shine as the stars forever and ever. Turn many to righteousness. This is what we own. We own turning many to righteousness. And to say to hell with the ways of this world and the ways of Esau's system. And turn to righteousness. Alright? It says. It is better to go into the house of two, Ecclesiastes 7 2. It is better to go into the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. For that is the end of all men, and the living will live to his heart. See? The house of mourning is the air. Yeah. Moses entered into the house of mourning because when he, when he saw his people suffering, so you see the Egyptian. Alright? Smiting one of you people and he said, What the fuck are you seeing here, boy? Now, boy, are my people, boy? That is where you have to stand up for your people, boy. But you state your people in my. You tell me, start a study about doubting and going back out into the world. Watch your people and remember the love the Lord had on, on you, boy. Remember the love, boy. And watch your people, watch you stay there. Make that sacrifice. 
I remain with you. I stay with you. For street, it says sorrow is better than laughter. For my reason, for my the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning. The house of sorrow. That is the best place to go. That is the place you need to be. This is the house of mourning. Church, it became a church. It was the church now. Please, yeah, the poor and the poor. Hey, at that point in time, is that testimony? Because you know, testimony is what is strength and faith. Huh. I read that scripture and I went. Before I didn't know anything to do with the truth, well, I didn't know what I didn't know, so it wasn't ready for me as yet. And I went and think, well, that house I'm on was, was talking about by some sorcerers. <laughs> Oh, in China, they call us, they call us morning, in, in, in so, so-called Orisha. And, you know, I went seven whole days, seven whole nights, without detail. And it's funny enough, there's all kind of different seals and sorcery in the child. And all we have tried to do to be all kind of spirits, different man and spirits, the Heavenly Father was guiding me wherever I, or however it was happening and they showed me by the our father prayer scriptures so if it is now the heavenly father can show you that the house of money is not no way outside there or not you see the words the words are these bible the, 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 the prophets or come out of the mouth guys in guys in guys in house of money the church the true church true church because jeremiah say he wished that he mother's womb would have been his grave. That is where, that is where Jeremiah said he wished that he mother's womb would have been his grave. He said, Close me the man that bring gifts to my for me for my father when I was born my wherefore what I come to see what? Oppression hmm. and wickedness. Hmm. No righteous soul will ever feel comfortable in an unrighteous king. That is how it, it, it's easy to know who is a righteous soul. All Israel was made to be righteous, so but right now it's easy to fish out and to lower in with the tools given who seeking some kind of truth because they'll never be comfortable with the way of the world running. The way of this place running, the manner in which the laws, the different draconian laws being implemented up on the face of the earth. A righteous soul will never feel comfortable with that. Never ever. Don't always say why not something wrong. Every time you hear somebody saying, boy, things nice, you know, that I hope here. Hey, that's, that's all blinded and, and if they even want to accept the light, let that person be as a cast off. You know, the scriptures say, after three and four admiration, two and three or three and four. After the first and second admiration. Right, after the first and second admiration. 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 If they receive the word, the scriptures say, what, go so faithful, and let that person be as a healer. Fuck them. They don't have no time for that right now. No time for them. The Lord almost said in the church and I'm done day. We're ready to bring the judgment and I and I and I bring any precious gospel unto you. And I hear with you and I hear with you. And you want to receive it. One water it. One planted, one water it, and the most I give it the increase. You leave them there. If the, if, if the most I say change the mind, you will do it anyhow you take it. You will beat up yourself for them negative spirits. That's right. Ezekiel chapter 2 and verse 8, verse 9, it says, And when I looked on the whole, and the hand was sent unto me, and lo, a roll of a book was daring, and it spread it before me, and, and it was written within and without, which is this Bible. And there was written, Therein lamentations and mourning and woe. See, I've written in this book. 
Lamentations morning and walk. This is the house and morning. Coming into the scriptures and living in it. Dwell in it. He shall dwell in you. Understand? Dwell in it. He dwelling in you is your action, your lifestyle change. You start to move different. You start to function different. Think different. Eat different. Alright? Look at different things. Alright? That is how we start to move. That's and, right. and it, that is the house of what? Morning, verse 7, Ecclesiastes 7, verse 4, chapter 7, verse 4, it says, The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning. It's what? It's church. It's the true church. The true tabernacle, which I have a and which I pitched, and not man. But the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. Yeah, like them in this world. Moses left the house of mirth. You feel it? You could have stayed in the house of mirth. He said, no. You could stay in the house of mirth. I stay in the house of mirth and my people suffer. Eh? What the fuck that doing for me? What that doing for me? What that doing for Jacob? Turn on them. They had to love Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. <laughs> like the fathers of the promise. <laughs> we forefathers. That is our forefathers. You gotta love them. Remember your forefathers. Remember them. The sacrifices that are made for we. The sacrifices that are made for us. Samson. Fight off. How much are them Philippines to save we? Gideon. David, boy. Yahweh Shai, the Almighty. Um, Son of the Heavenly Father, boy. 